Hi guys, this is Kai with BMW Bend. Today we're going to go over deactivating the motion sensor and tilt sensor. The demo car that I'm using is a 2018 BMW 530e. So let's go over the feature. Alright, so first of all, your car does have to be equipped with an alarm system, so keep that in mind. If you're not sure, reference your build sheet or your nearest BMW dealership and they can check it out for you. But when you lock the car, there's an LED bulb right under the rear view mirror that will illuminate and it starts flashing. That's a red flash. So that indicates that your car is locked, alarm is active, uh, and the sensors are on. If you press the lock button once, like I said, locks the doors, activates the alarm. But if you press the lock button a second time within 10 seconds, that will deactivate the motion sensor and the tilt sensor on the vehicle. Motion sensor is, say your window's cracked and an arm reaches in, tries to unlock your doors, that'll set off the motion sensor. The tilt sensor is if the car is raised or lifted um, and you know thrown off its axis, that would also trigger the alarm. So someone can't just come up with a jack and steal your wheel, wheels and tires. Um, but a practical scenario for the tilt sensor that someone might want to deactivate that is like a ferry ride. So we've heard that if you put your car on a ferry and obviously the water gets a little rocky, it's going to start raising and lowering the car. Um, so deactivating the tilt sensor would be beneficial in that scenario. But um, for the motion sensor, we get this a lot of times. People come in and say they keep a, maybe a small dog in the car briefly, and the dog sets off the alarm. So this is a way to deactivate that and prevent that from happening. All right, guys, that's a general overview of the feature. If you have further questions, give us a call or stop by BMW Bend. Kendall, let's start something great. 